Coil springs are essential components in many devices and machines, providing elastic properties that allow them to compress and expand under load. These springs come in various sizes and types, tailored to their specific applications. The most common metal used in coil spring manufacturing is steel, chosen for its durability and flexibility. However, the specific type of steel depends on the intended application and the spring's required properties. For giant springs, springs, alloy steel is often preferred due to its superior strength and resistance to fatigue. This furnace typically operates at temperatures ranging from 800 degrees Celsius to 1000 degrees Celsius. The choice of temperature depends on the specific alloy composition and the desired properties of the final spring. Heating the steel bars to these high temperatures is essential because it alters the microstructure of the steel, making it ductile and pliable. At these elevated temperatures, the steel undergoes recrystallization, which allows it to be deformed without cracking. This malleability is critical for the subsequent winding process, where precise shaping is required. The heating duration is carefully controlled to ensure uniform temperature throughout the steel bar. Uniform heating ensures consistent properties in the final product, such as strength and flexibility. Once the steel reaches the desired temperature, it is swiftly transferred to the winding station for shaping, maintaining its malleability. The hot winding process for producing large coil springs begins with heating alloy steel bars in a high temperature furnace until they become malleable. The steel bar is then fixed at one end and slowly wound around a rotating shaft to form the spring. An automated winding machine ensures precise control over the number of turns and the spacing between coils. After winding, the hot spring coil undergoes a cooling process. The spring is slowly removed from the shaft, and its temperature is checked with a thermometer to ensure it is within the optimal range for the next steps. After forming and cooling, the coil spring undergoes surface treatment to enhance its quality and performance. This process involves abrasion and size cutting. The spring is passed through a grinder that uniformly removes surface imperfections and sharp edges, ensuring a smooth finish. The grinding force is controlled to prevent any deformation of the spring, maintaining its structural integrity and precise dimensions. This step not only improves the aesthetic quality of the spring, but also enhances its fatigue resistance and durability by eliminating surface defects that could lead to premature failure. The final inspection of the coil spring is a critical step to ensure it meets stringent quality standards. This process begins with a thorough measurement of the spring's dimensions, including coil diameter, length and pitch to ensure they align with design specifications. Surface quality is then inspected for any defects such as cracks, burrs, or irregularities. Finally, the spring undergoes compression tests where it is subjected to loads to verify its performance and resilience. These tests ensure the spring can compress and rebound as required without deforming, ensuring reliability and longevity in its intended application. For those who prefer aesthetically pleasing springs, color painting is an option. Painting not only enhances the appearance, but also provides a protective layer against corrosion. The characteristic red color often seen in springs is both attractive and functional. CNC spring cutting and hole punching involve precision machining processes using computer numerical control, CNC technology. In CNC spring cutting, high carbon or alloy steel strips are accurately cut to the required dimensions using CNC shearing machines. This ensures consistent, precise cuts for each leaf spring. For hole punching, CNC machines equipped with specialized punches and dies are used. These machines precisely punch holes in the steel strips for mounting points or other necessary connections. Drilling holes precisely using CNC machines for mounting points. 
Punching holes with CNC machines involves using programmed punches and dies to create precise, clean holes in steel strips for mounting and assembly. Tapering and leaf spring manufacturing involves creating a gradual reduction in the thickness or width of the leaf ends to distribute stress more evenly and enhance flexibility. This process can be achieved through CNC machining or grinding. In CNC tapering, the machine precisely removes material from the ends of the steel strips according to program specifications, ensuring uniformity and accuracy. Grinding is another method where specialized grinders shape the taper by removing material in a controlled manner. End cutting involves trimming steel ends to precise dimensions. End rolling forms the ends of leaf springs into specific shapes or curves, enhancing attachment points and load distribution. Eye rolling shapes the ends of leaf springs into circular or elliptical eyes for mounting and attachment. Using a rolling machine, the end of the leaf is heated and then rolled into the desired eye shape. This process ensures precise curvature and size, allowing the leaf spring to be securely connected to the vehicle's suspension system, improving overall stability and performance. Heat treatment involves heating and cooling leaf springs to enhance hardness and flexibility, ensuring durability and optimal performance under load. Quenching is the rapid cooling of heated leaf springs, typically in oil or water, to harden the steel. This process locks in the desired microstructure, improving strength and durability. Air linker forming shapes leaf springs using compressed air to create precise curves and bends, ensuring correct alignment and performance. Robotics in spring manufacturing automate tasks such as cutting, shaping, and assembling springs with high precision and efficiency. Robots handle repetitive processes like material feeding, bending, and quality inspection, reducing human error and increasing production speed. Shot peening involves blasting leaf springs with steel shots to introduce compressive stresses, improving fatigue resistance and surface durability. Assembling leaf springs involves stacking and securing individual leaves with center bolts and end clamps. The assembly may include adding bushings or eye bolts for attachment. This process ensures proper alignment and fit within the vehicle's suspension system, optimizing performance and stability. Pre-pressing involves initially compressing leaf springs to the desired shape and curvature before final assembly. This process ensures consistent spring height, alignment and load distribution, enhancing overall performance and reliability. Testing leaf springs involves load and fatigue tests to ensure durability, performance, and compliance with industry standards and specifications. Painting leaf springs involves applying a protective coating to prevent corrosion, enhance durability, and provide a finished appearance. Marking leaf springs involves applying identification details such as part numbers, manufacturer logos, batch numbers, and specifications. This can be done using techniques like laser engraving, stamping, or ink printing. Proper marking ensures traceability, quality control, and compliance with industry standards. It also aids in inventory management and provides critical information for maintenance and replacement purposes. The Danobat CNC Controlled Portal Lathe, model DPL2600, is a state-of-the-art machine tailored for the precise and efficient maintenance of railway locomotive, coach, and wagon wheel sets. 
Engineered to meet the rigorous demands of the railway industry, this lathe ensures high production throughput, making it an ideal solution for workshops requiring both speed and accuracy. A key feature of the DPL 2600 is its capability to handle wheel sets without leaving any marks. This is critical for maintaining the integrity and performance of the wheels, as any surface imperfections can lead to issues in wheel rail contact, potentially causing noise, vibration, and increased wear. The machine also safeguards the wheel profile by preventing the insertion of chips between the wheels and the driving system, thereby avoiding damage that could compromise the wheel's operational lifespan. The DPL2600 eliminates the need for additional lifting tools, streamlining the maintenance process and reducing the time and effort required for setup and handling. This is particularly advantageous in busy maintenance facilities where efficiency and quick turnaround times are paramount. Efficient chip evacuation is another standout feature of the DPL2600. The design facilitates the smooth removal of metal shavings and debris generated during the machining process, ensuring a clean working environment and preventing the accumulation of chips that could otherwise lead to operational disruptions or quality issues. Moreover, the lathe offers the versatility to machine wheel sets both with and without grease boxes mounted. This flexibility is crucial for maintenance operations that deal with a variety of wheel set configurations, allowing for seamless adaptation to different maintenance needs without the necessity of additional equipment or extensive reconfiguration. Store high-quality steel in a clean, dry, and controlled environment. Heat steel billets or bars uniformly in a controlled furnace environment to achieve optimal temperature for forming and microstructure alteration. Shape the heated steel into a tapered profile using sequential rolling processes. Form the ends of the leaf spring into uniform, dimensionally accurate eyes using specialized rolling machines for attachment points. Machine precise grooves into the hot leaf spring, enhancing flexibility and reducing stress concentrations for improved performance. Rapidly cool the leaf spring using a quenching press to achieve desired hardness. Fine-tune the leaf spring's curvature and dimensions using a finger press machine. Further refine the leaf spring's shape and dimensions by applying controlled pressure using an air link press machine. Enhance surface hardness and fatigue strength by bombarding the leaf spring with small spherical media. Apply protective coating to prevent corrosion and improve aesthetics. Ream eye holes precisely and insert bushings for proper fitment. Verify load bearing capacity and performance under controlled test conditions. Coiling is used for wire diameters up to 26 mm, which are typically pre-treated. The coiling process utilizes CNC-controlled automatic machines to ensure precise adherence to the spring's design. This precision requires experienced specialists, as the material properties of spring steel can vary. A rigidly programmed machine would produce inconsistent results. The spring rate, or the ratio of spring force to deflection, is influenced by the material, wire and spring dimensions, coil count, spacing, and end supports. Winding is employed for wire up to 55 mm thick, usually treated after the winding process. The material is wound around a mandrel, which allows fewer design variations than coiling but supports processing thicker steel.
Cold forming is used for steel up to 32 millimeters thick, while larger diameters are hardened and tempered post-formation. Springs made from pre-hardened material undergo tempering after forming to relieve stress. If required, we grind the ends and deburr or chamfer the edges to enhance product longevity. Shot peening in a blast cabinet rotates and rolls the springs, ensuring even surface treatment. Complete compression or setting to block ensures the spring retains its force over time. To protect against corrosion, we apply a coating of epoxy or polyester resin. This final step ensures our springs are ready for use, combining durability with reliable performance. The production process begins with selecting high-quality steel, which is then cut and shaped into the required spring profiles using hydraulic presses or rolling machines. Heat treatment follows, where the springs are hardened and tempered to enhance their strength and flexibility. This critical step ensures the springs can withstand the demanding conditions of rail travel. Comfort and the ability to transport heavy loads. Since 1922, Langen and Sonderman in Lunen has been at the forefront of producing high-quality parabolic and coil springs. After heat treatment, the springs undergo pre-cleaning and grinding to remove any scale or surface imperfections. The prepared springs are then subjected to shot peening, a process that involves bombarding the surface with small spherical media. Shot peening induces compressive stresses on the surface, significantly improving the spring's resistance to fatigue and cracking. AGTOS shot peening units play a vital role in this process. These units are equipped with advanced features such as roller conveyors and high-performance turbines, ensuring precise control and uniform coverage during peening. This step is essential for achieving the desired hardness and durability of the springs. Post-shot peening, the springs are cleaned to remove any residual blast media and are rigorously inspected for quality. This includes dimensional checks, surface quality assessments, and hardness testing. Springs that meet all specifications are then assembled if necessary and coated to prevent corrosion. The WIM100H CNC custom-made hot spring coiling lathe coiler is a state-of-the-art machine designed by Fortuna Federn, renowned for its precision and versatility in manufacturing hot coiled compression springs. Capable of handling wire diameters up to 100 millimeters, this advanced coiler caters to a broad spectrum of industrial applications, particularly in the production of suspension springs. One of the key features of the WIM100H is its CNC, Computer Numerical Control System, which ensures high precision and repeatability in the coiling process. This technology allows for the meticulous customization of spring dimensions and shapes, accommodating the specific requirements of each customer. Whether the task involves creating tapered bars or bars with cylindrical straight-cut ends, the machine can be tailored to meet these demands, ensuring optimal performance and consistency. The automatic mode is ideal for high volume production, reducing the need for constant supervision and manual intervention. In contrast, the semi-automatic mode allows for greater control over the coiling process, which is particularly useful for more complex or specialized tasks.